presents a presentation of Anime Championship Wrestling, the standard of CAW. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019 HCW Tournament Cruiserweight Clash. Our next contest in this tournament will be a newcomer in Izuki Midoriya going one on one against the stalwart Seiya in this second match of the first round here tonight at the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California. Detroit Smash is very known all around the world. His first elite tournament appearance here tonight in Sacramento, but he's going to be taking on no slouch. The crowd is deafening here at the Golden One Center. For the keeper of the Pegasus, Saint Sam. Saint say obviously a part of the Knights of the Zodiac tag team with his cohort Icky. A man that has revered and established himself in the anime industry for decades. A little bit of an old school, new school vibe here in this matchup. This will be a very interesting match between two people that should not underestimate each other in this match. We'll take a look at Say here with his patented Pegarana, obviously, from the classic Saint Seiya anime, as he's a partner with Icky with the Knights of the Zodiac, one of the premier tag teams in HCW Impulse. The winner of this matchup, I do want to stress, is going to face Akira Kurusu in the second round, as Akira was able to defeat Ness in the first match of this first round the tournament. So both men have a lot of work to do in terms of how they are going to be able to prepare for the Joker. As Seiya locked in with that arm bar right onto Deku and Deku able to escape. This does mark Deku's in-ring debut here for Anime Championship Wrestling. We're going to see what Deku's made of. Apparently, allegedly, he is having his... Oh, wow! Nice arm breaking there by Seiya. Deku is being mentored, apparently, by the Impulse World Champion, Naruto Uzumaki. If there's one mentor that you would want as your starting career here in ACW, I couldn't think of anyone more than Mr. ACW himself. Seiya continues to work on the arm of Deku. Deku a little bit taller than Seiya, but that's not really stopping Seiya from working on that arm. Seiya's going to have to be careful with that Detroit Smash. I have seen that maneuver being used in UWL and other CAW leagues. It is a devastating maneuver that can catch Seiya off guard if he's not careful. As both men lock up once again. Seiya right back to that arm. This time Deku able to answer back. Nice key lock. On top of Seiya. No Seiya able to get Izuku into a side headlock here. The chain action between both men here so far. Getting a feeler between each other as Deku pushes Seiya out. Duck under here, leap frogs over Seiya. This is a drop kick. Seiya gonna capitalize now. Big knee right across the face. Knife edge chop here. Seiya with a nice head scissors takedown. 
and Deku not off to a hot, hot start, excuse me, here in his ACW career. Deku runs over Say with that clothesline. Comes back around here. Whoa! Went for a sliding clothesline. Nobody home. Say was able to capitalize. And Say kicks down Deku. Say a veteran compared to Deku. Say probably knows all the tricks of the trade from people like Deku. So Deku's gonna have to find something to get back into this matchup. And Sam! Wow, what a nice ricochet hurricanrana from the corner. Great athleticism from Saint Seiya as Deku has got to get into this match or else this could be an early night. A lot of people are invested into Deku here, including Naruto. But that doesn't mean Seiya's going to be an easy person to go over. I can tell you that. Both men bump into each other here as Seiya, big forearm, sends Deku back down the knee. And a slide and clothesline, which is Deku, which is what Deku was looking for earlier, covered by Seiya, and only gets a one count. Looking a bit grim here for the, the successor of All Might, if you will. One. Another kick out at one. It's really been all sales so far in the beginning stages of this match. And now Deku finally answers back with a kick to the midsection. Another one right across. And now Deku's starting to get back to the offensive here. Oh, wait a minute. Could it be? Well, there you go. Some cheeky Nando's action there from Deku. Somebody. But nonetheless, look at this athleticism from Seiya bouncing off the ropes with that Nitro Piranha. Then Deku, as we're watching a bit of G1 apparently, with that nice Cheeky Nando's kick from the corner as we're back live. Deku now, big snap right after that elbow from the top turnbuckle. Oh, nice elbow dragging it, just stabbing it right into the back of Seiya. Everyone's got to get into position here, cover. One, two, shoulder up, and Seiya barely got out of that pin attempt by Deku. Gotta wonder, Akira is probably watching this matchup very carefully to scout one of these two men that are going to meet him in the second round of this tournament. Oh my goodness, a leg lariat from behind on to Seiya. That could have put away the Seiya himself, there's two. And Seiya with a shoulder up. That was quite an impressive maneuver there by Deku. Now Deku has clearly taken control of this matchup. He's now dictating the pace against Seiya. Drop breaking there by Seiya. Going to surroundings, able to come back. Seiya now bounce from the ropes here. Nice drop kick. Seiya telling Deku, can't put me away that easily, kid to the midsection here. More kicks to the midsection. Falls over the kick right across the face. In the face! In the face! Oh my god, in the face! And a trap kick on the face as well. Apparently Sayer heard me. Look at this nice Frankensteiner. Sayer right back on the driver's seat here. This is where Sayer's got to be careful. Can he capitalize with this current momentum here? 450! 450 from the top! That put away Young Midoriya here to cover this two! And no! Deku with the shoulder up before three! Whew, what a match so far. Let's take a look at what we're seeing so far here. Deku with this nice leg area from behind onto Seiya. But Seiya would answer back with a 450, a powerful one at that from the top of the turnbuckle. Went for the cover. Luckily for Deku, was able to kick out in 2.9 seconds. Deku's got to keep in mind that he's representing in many ways Naruto in this matchup here. Naruto, a man that won the Impulse World Title Animania 5 against Sasuke Uchiha, retained it against Rock Lee, one of the new Impulse superstars from the HW Draft, at the HW Draft. We saw Sasuke attack Naruto after the matchup, and Deku was attending to Naruto after that match. Look at this, Deku kicks, missed that kick there, kicks him down! Technique there from Deku. Now Deku driving the knee right across Seiya's shoulder blade. And Deku doing a good job keeping Seiya grounded because, I mean, Deku's fast. He's athletic. If you can't keep down Seiya, it's going to be hard to really win a match like that. Monkey flip by Deku.
Deku and Deku starting to get back momentum swaying to his side. Say back to his feet on the corner here. Missed the elbow there, Deku. Say looking to come back with two strikes here, rolls him up. Nope. Oh my goodness, schoolboy is a gurry. And that just took Deku out for a loop there. Now Sayo with a nice, beautiful snap suplex. You are witnessing the best cruiserweights in the world here, ladies and gentlemen. In an era where the word elite is being used profusely all across CAW and pro wrestling. The elite tournament reminds you who truly does hold the title of the best elite talent in all of CAW. And it's because of matches like this between Say and Deku, a match that you're going to see throughout this entire tournament. That's Deku. Sends Say and down, and now Deku stepping out of the ring. What is this? Wait a minute. What is it? Wait a minute. Drive by kick from the apron onto Say. What's this? What's this? Oh, I got it! Detroit smash! But Deku not able to capitalize. He used all 100% of that energy to wipe out Seiya. He had cover. And there it is. There's the cover. There's two. There's a... Oh! Seiya with a shoulder up. Tell us again. Detroit smash knocked off Seiya out of his feet. But Deku was not able to capitalize. It took too much time for Seiya to get back into two. So what does Deku have in his sleeve now? This has been an excellent contest between Seiya and Deku as Deku's trying to keep up the momentum. Big clothesline there by Seiya, stopping Deku's flurry of offense. Now Seiya, wait a minute, wait a Oh my goodness, slice bread! A standing slice bread from Seiya! There's two! No! Whew! That was a bit too close there. And now Seiya gonna try his luck back on top of the turnbuckle. Back to, back to his feet slowly but surely. Seiya from the top here. He was gonna go for the Pegarana! Oh, and Deku with a devastating power bomb. Deku gonna take control here. Oh, it folds him up with the back suplex. Oh, wait a minute, Saiyan nicks up with Deku. Saiyan's like, you gotta kill me. Saiyan wants to advance to the second round here, folks. Sends Deku out to the corner. From the top, Santon sit out. Deku for the close, I miss it. Cross body from the middle rope. Saya out of everywhere. Wheelbarrow Bulldog. Deku having no answer for any of these maneuvers. What a first round match. And you gotta wonder, we have six more of these matches to go. Oh, wow. Schoolboy Enziguri knocking out Deku. Will it be enough? Not just yet. Kick to the midsection. Deku with a whip to the corner. To the ropes, excuse me. Went for Enziguri, missed it. Say it out. Went for a drop kick, he missed it. Deku with a big right. A big left, excuse me. Another whip by Deku. And look at this. Oh, say with a knee right onto the rib cage. And now the referee using his discretion to get Say away from Deku. And then, oh, Say got swept from the front by Deku. Deku setting something up here from the corner. And I, oh my god, what a devastating spear by the young Midoriya. Will this be enough? One, two, yes it will, Deku has done it. What an outstanding contest between Saiya and Deku. That sweeping leg from the front of Saiya followed up by the spear was more than enough to put away Say here tonight in the first round of this tournament. And if nothing else, we now do have our first second round match completed here due to this victory by Deco.
as you'll see on the bracket here, Deku has advanced to the second round, and now we do have our first second round match. Official and Kira Kurusu will meet Azuka Midoriya in the second round of the Elite Tournament. An impressive victory by Deku in his first ACW matchup. But will that be enough for him to be the 2019 Kayla Elite, ladies and gentlemen? We will see you next time for the Cruiserweight Clash. Good night, everybody.